What's going on? It's G. What's up, everybody? It's Mike. Oh, wait, y'all supposed to introduce yourself first. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You already know she bought a little cow cool kid. What's up? It's G. And we got Mike right now. What's up, everybody? Hey, you already know what it is. We got our 12 questions going again. It's been a minute. But oh, back. we sorry, y'all. We sorry. We've been actually, we've been. Definitely don't fell off. Nah. Definitely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Definitely. <laughs> Pop it off! Pop it off! Definitely not. But let me try to make more for you. Don't look cool with us. No! I'm glad. Kid, why? Oh, you do look like. Nah, for real, we just want to say sorry. We've been um, in New York for New York Fashion Week. Shout out to New York. But shout out to Cali, too. LA. Cali. Oh, my God. LA Fashion Week, Society Fashion Week. Thank the you. The love is just real out Thank there. Thank y'all. Yes, yes. Everyone that we came across. Thank Peace you. Peace and love to LA. Thank you. Peace and love. Facts. I love y'all. We're going to start our 12 question interview with Mike. So first thing first, tell us a little bit about you, Mike. Uh, let's see. Uh, where, where we starting? What, 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 what are we talking about? Just, just about. I mean, so, I mean. Yeah. It's hard to kind of put them in the box, but like I'm all over the place a little bit. Just be all over uh, the place. Married, uh, three kids. Um, I have a few businesses. I just actually started my new little line. It's called Concept, so y'all be on the lookout for that. We rising, we popping. Um, I have I a catering company, Custom Catering. I would definitely mess with the clothing line. By the way, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, he looks like he's a cook too. Don't yeah, I mean, Donnie. it's what I do. It's what I do. Uh, let's see. Um, Born and raised here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, of course, I have aspirations to, to advance and go further. Um, definitely see Cali in my future, so one day, yeah, one guy. day. Yeah. Um, other than that, man, I'm, I'm a simple guy. I'm just an everyday dude. Right on, right on. All right, shit. Well, we're going to start off. First question is what inspired you, inspired you to be a stylist? So the main focus is just you as a stylist right now in the fashion industry. So what inspired you to become a well, stylist? Well first, let me refute that term because I don't classify myself as a stylist. Okay. okay. That's the first what's, part. What's the, what's the term? Um, the reason why is because I think everybody is a stylist nowadays. Because you can dress yourself exactly. does not mean you can dress everybody else. Just like makeup artists. Exactly. Like, you can do your own makeup in the bathroom with homegirl, your friend. You got her looking hey, whack. You know, so that ain't, that ain't Get yet. your makeup looking whack. Right. <laughs> so for me, honestly, like I consider myself more of a fashion influencer. Um, I feel that I'm pretty innovative, especially, I mean, I'm not the typical uh, size 32 pants, you know, in the waist or whatever, but I, fe I feel like... Size 30. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm not the typical guy that you would see. You know, especially when it comes to the fashion industry. Um, but I just, I just like style. I like having style. I like what style represents because I feel it's your personal expression. And for me, if I have a client or when I have clients, um, it's more so about them. So it's teaching them how to express themselves and showing them how they can do so through their fashion or through their clothes. Right. You know, their outer appearance. So yeah, I don't consider myself a stylist at all. Uh, what got me in it was. I mean, I just love it. Uh, there was a point where I was like super whack. Uh, yeah, all those pictures are deleted on social media. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't have it. I ex aspired to have it, but I didn't. But once you know who you are, you just own it and you rock it out. So that's yeah. where I'm at. Right. All right. So you know, it's your boy, little cute kid. So yeah. you know, I gotta ask this question. <laughs> you know, shit, kids we do. So boy, hell no, you is black. I'm black. Do you got a perm in your hair? Nope, <laughs> all natural. Home girl, his barber just saw me, and she was like, oh my God, he got good hair. She was all in my head. No, no perm, no process, and it's just natural. It's what it is. Thank that to the Indian blood, homeboy. Don't come for me. All right, so uh, I know you kind of touched base on this whenever you're talking about, you know, styles and all that, but what is fashion to you? Self-expression. It's simple. Self-expression. It's, it's that simple. Hey guys, question, four. question four. Question four. So, like, when you're looking, like, to style somebody, like, uh -huh. what attitude do you look at your clients? Like, so what characteristic sweat. traits do you look yeah. for in someone whenever you're, you're like, oh, I want to work with him because he's like this and this. He's somebody that I potentially want to work with or she's somebody that I potentially want to work with. Mm -hmm. what, make, what draws you to your Well, clients? the thing is you always see potential in people. So for me, like if I was to see you and you on the street, like I work downtown Dallas, so there's a ton of homeless people, you know. So there's this one guy, white guy, you know, 
he got the dope beard. I was like, man, I could clean him up and he would look totally different. So I think it's more so of looking past what you actually see mm -hmm. and maybe seeing that potential in them. Mm -hmm. um, but also with my clients, when I when I um, work with them, I ask them, like, give me some of your inspirations. Like, who are your inspirations? Okay. Because a lot of people, and then you got some people that's like, oh, I really don't have any inspiration. This is just what I do. No, who are your inspirations? What what? Who do you see yourself mimicking? You know, like me, Kanye's style is amazing. You know, like I love right. his style. I love his art. Um, Easy season. For real. Yeah. For real. I love for real. Hey, for real. I want to be with your models. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that definitely. Nice. I love for real style. His swag is amazing. Um, and it's kind of weird, but Ellen, she's a female. I love it. Her her swag. Whoa! Is amazing. I, like, I swear to God. I swear to God. I love yes. Ellen. I yes. swear. Yes. Like I really want to meet her one day. Absolutely. That's, that's definitely one of my. So Ellen, get at your boy. I want to sit on your couch one day. Um, let's make Talk it happen. Show. Look y'all cool. Definitely want to be there also. We all gonna be there one day. It's like, it's like, you know, just, just go ahead and just write that. Yeah, just write. Just go ahead and get it going. Fuck me now. <laughs> Check this out. Um, I think this is a question that everybody wants to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so how long have you been in the closet? Yeah, that's not a question. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, not, that's not a question. That's not a question that nobody wants to know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> Do it, Fruity. Do it, Fruity. <laughs> <laughs> well, to sum it up, none of us are. Uh, I'm yeah. married with three kids, happily married to say the least. Uh, yeah, beautiful wife. Yeah, um, he has a daughter. Yes. So he he's yes. chilling, and I've been with this dude, so I know <laughs> what he's about. So ladies, <laughs> ladies, when you see a dog, you run. They don't say roof anymore. They say hello. Run. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be down. <laughs> Help me, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you saying Chihuahua? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Boy, you're right. You're more like a teacup photo. <laughs> right. 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 Question number six. Okay. Um. So, whenever it comes to your clients, mm -hmm. do you prefer to sell men more or women? I think women are, because of the artistic side and the amount of creativity you can put in women, I definitely would say I prefer styling women more so okay. because of that reason. Um, but also with men, but it, again, it's solely based on on them and how far they're willing to go outside of that level of comfort, you know. Yeah. But women, they're pretty open minded, so they're like, yeah, we'll try. You know, you can accessorize. There's so many different things you can do with women and just being creative, you know. But with men, it's a little bit different because again, you don't want to send them across that line to have people thinking, oh, well, maybe they play for the other team, and that's not the case. It's just right. they expressing, you know. Right. Anyway, this is hey, this was man, this is real love, right? Yeah, real love. All oh, eight. Hey, the energy is love. definitely there. Now, question number seven, you guys. If there was one person you would like to work with, who would it be and why? Oh, Ellen. Yeah, well, you, you did just say it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, but this, Ellen, you know, she's for you right here. Like, yeah, hold on. For me, she's from New Orleans. <laughs> so she's from my city, and that's just, that, that's just big love right there. I mean, when it comes to Ellen to me, and, and of course it could be because she's on TV, but when I see her, like it's just a genuineness that exactly. she has. There's the, a purity. Yeah, there's the a purity. The love. The love. Yeah, yeah. There's a genuineness. Yeah. The love. The love. Yes. There's a genuineness. I like it because she's her. Like when it, exactly. it, it becomes, she dances. Yeah, she, yeah. She's yeah. not trying to be somebody. She's genuine. She's her. So yeah. you can tell it's not I'm putting on for the camera. Like this is who I am. Yeah. She's yeah. very genuine, yeah. and that for me, that that sells it for me. Alan. I love you. Yeah. yeah. So Ellen, just letting you know, you make a huge impact on lives all around the world. All around the world. All around Facts. the world. All around the world. So, um, when it comes to dating, this is outside of host Island and okay. everything like that. For people that want to know, they're like, damn, I look good. Mm -hmm. You know, what is the age range for your date? Well, because I'm married, there is no age range. <laughs> yeah. um, what about it? So, where is this uh, oh, it's, it's here. Uh, yeah, it's here. He's here. Okay. He's gone. <laughs> 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 And when you see her, it's, it's definitely real. It calls, it, it, it's definitely real. My man. That's, so what pushes you to get through the day? Like those long days, you just be, you know, like, like when you're in your car, doing your video, mm -hmm. like what motivates you? Like, no, well, let me hop on Instagram and show these people like, you know, y'all y'all can do it. Don't don't worry about them. Don't worry about the haters. Y'all can, like, what inspire you, like, in your heart, the genuine in you? Um, For one, my, my biggest aspiration 
and I think this is for anyone that have children that are really Respect. parenting. Yeah. Respect. Um, when you see them, that gives you an automatic drive. So my family, like I'm a big family guy, like my family is my push. Uh, they, they are my reason why. And I feel in everything you gotta have a reason why. So they are my reason why. Some is money, but they are my reason why. And I feel that if I keep them as the center of that why, mm -hmm. then there's nothing I wouldn't do, no extreme I wouldn't go to make that happen for them. Um, but then also I like seeing other people happy. I like seeing everybody win. I'm not a selfish guy, but by no means, so I like to see everybody win, everybody prosper. Right. And if there's something that I can do to help to um, promote you to that place, then I'm willing to do that, you know? Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll be uncomfortable if I can see that what I'm doing for somebody else is good. Like, them videos, I've been doing them for about two weeks, and like last week, and what I, tell you, I skipped I skipped the day, and somebody oh, charged me oh, up. A few people were in my inboxes. I ain't gonna lie, when I see that, like, even though I be fine up, that mm -hmm. make, I'm gonna keep it real, like, a man, that make me, like, fuck that, yeah, my dog, yeah, but like, yeah. I, Cause I ain't gonna act, yeah. be real. Yeah. I say, I say, damn, might happen. Mm -hmm. Cause I keep up, like, bro. If I mess with you and I rate, mm -hmm. I see genuine love. You support, in you. Yeah. yeah, I support everything. Yeah. You know, I always like, yeah. you know, I always comment. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, might have been put the video. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, what's going on mm -hmm. with it? But cause like, I'm like, you know, I watched it. Right. They inspired me, you know. See, to keep and going that's what a lot of people like. I literally was like, okay, I don't think I can keep this up because in the morning it's chaotic, you know. Yeah, so of course. Right. Like it's like I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get to work, you know. I work right. downtown, so I'm in traffic. Exactly. exactly. But um, because of those inboxes. Like I've been inspired to keep yeah. going, so please I'm gonna keep, keep doing do. it. So check me do. out, yeah. Please Motivation, yeah, Mike. Right. Shout your right. um, Instagram. Oh yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. Mike Mousworth. Uh, one more time. Mike Mousworth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But so uh, question number ten is, what's an experience that had an it had an impact on you to make you who you are today? So I was kind of sharing with Greg earlier, like you know, people would say, look at me now, be like, oh well, no, you definitely, you know, didn't come from a hard life, but my story is different. Um, and one day, hopefully, I get to share that with the world. Uh, my story is different. It's definitely a rags to riches in progress. I can't say riches yet, because ain't all the way where I want to be, so riches in progress. Um, but my middle kid, I'll never forget this moment. Because for me, love to me was different. The way I experienced love, I experienced love more so in pain than anything. Yes. You know, yes. so for me, it was exactly. you're loving me because you're harming me, you're hurting me. So that was my expression of thought process when it came to love. Mm -hmm. um, I'll never forget uh, my, my middle kid. Her name is Kyla. She was she was about three years old, and um, she did something, and I and I disciplined her. And uh, I started coughing like afterwards, like maybe about 10 minutes after, you know, she's still in the corner sniffing, you know, so you know how little black kids do, we crying until the next yeah. day, you know, we, <laughs> we hurt, we're not yeah, feeling, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But um, I started coughing and I, I don't know why, but I just started coughing, I couldn't stop. So no matter what she was feeling, no matter what pain she was in or what her feeling was toward me for what I did to her, she instantly stopped. And in that moment, her focus was me, daddy, are you okay? You know, so for me, I tell everybody, like, she's the one that really taught me how to love and what unconditional love was. That's and real. from that moment, that changed my life. Respect. That changed Respect. my life. Yeah, that's Respect. real. Peace, love. love. Shout out to you. You're going to be a wonderful young lady. A wonderful, a wonderful person. It's number 11. So do your wife find your gap attractive? So y'all tongue kisses, she damn, damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is how sick of tongue between you. <laughs> you know what? Like, I literally want to get a, like, I want to get it close. But for her, but see, but the, the thing is, homeboy, like, you coming for me, you don't even understand why I got a gap. Like, yeah. you, you pushing. You pushing. Excuse me, hold right. up. You pushing. Excuse me, hold up, homeboy. You gave me a hey girl right now, but you pushing. You reaching. <laughs> but no, um, no, she actually finds it attractive. I don't know why. I hate it. Because I'm a teeth person. Like, when I encounter in anyone and everyone, the first thing I look at is their teeth. Me too. And, but I don't like ugly people. So, if you ugly <laughs> oh, shit, my and your teeth is bad, like. <laughs> Y'all, excuse him. <laughs> you're out. Like, if you can't ugly, be ugly with beautiful. bad teeth. You got to have. At least have nice teeth so we can cover them. But oh, your teeth is dope. You know that's what's up. So I got, but yeah, I got good teeth. No, you gotta look at a few gaps on the side. We'll talk about that tomorrow. If you look at mine, I got just that one. But y'all compensate for all of them because Hold many y'all got a young man. <laughs> Hold up, I'm about to shoot this nigga right fucking now, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> y'all overcompensate that, that for that me. one I got. He said. <laughs> Let it burn. Uh, so question number twelve. I'm gonna put the phone away now. You don't need no more. Just last question. So last question is uh, always, always. What is your idea of succeeding? That's an awesome question. That is an awesome question. Pause. Um, pause. You guys, ask yourself that for a quick second, also. 
Yeah, that's an awesome question. Really ask yourself that. I feel that, especially in our society, that we have identified success with materialism. Exactly, exactly. And for me, um, of course, I definitely know that I'm a millionaire. Like, it is what it is. I know Facts. that. But, Speak that into but once I become a millionaire, I don't feel that that's my, the epitome of my success or that's, that's my end. Because yeah. money is going to always keep coming in, you know, yes, if you do it right, like he said, save, invest. Mm -hmm. So if you do it the right way, money is going to consistently be there. Um, but for me, I think right. success is whatever goals you have written, whatever, um, whatever marks you have made in your life to say, this is what I want to achieve. That's what success is. Mm -hmm. I don't think that no one had, anyone else has the ability to determine what your success is. Exactly. You determine your success. And that's solely based on what your goals are, achieving those goals, making those markers in your life, and continuing to excel even past you know, disappointments and mistakes. So it's, it's whatever you determine it to be. For me, um, success would be, I, I dream big, I don't dream small. Um, a small dreamer is is someone just taking a nap. So I dream big, and when I wake up in the morning, I'm definitely gonna use that quote. I'm, yeah, sorry. I wake up, like, I'm God, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm definitely. Oh, when when I'm gonna take you too. Tag, I'm tag you tag too. Yeah, going, but when I going. wake up in the morning, like I don't I don't want to still be in that dream state. I want to be making that a reality. Um, I said in one of my videos that you know if if it's just a dream, then it, that's it. That's all it is. Yeah. But. Is it becomes something more when you put something to it, when you write the action plan, when you make those necessary steps to uh, make that a reality. What's the point of having dreams? You had a good night's sleep. So what's the point of it just being a dream? So to me, success is your action plan. What are you doing to pursue all of what's in you? Um, I think a lot of people have a lot of untapped potential um, in them because for one, they don't feel that they're capable. Um, but I'm here to tell you, you are capable to do whatever is on the inside of you. Yeah, you if it wasn't inside of me, you. like facts. Like, if you couldn't do it, it wouldn't be inside of you. I feel that God has equipped us all exactly. to um, to live a life that's completely poured out. Like uh, we, there's a song. It's a gospel song, um, and the the lady was just talking on the track, and she was saying that when I make it, I want it to be to where my life is poured out, and that's what I want. Like every gift, every talent, um, every person I was supposed to encounter, I want to live a life that's fulfilled, but yet that's poured out. I want to return back empty. Yeah. So how do you do that? You have to pursue you. Right. You have to pursue you, and when you pursue you, that means everything that's on the inside of you. You that's, gotta pull those things out. <laughs> Let the church say, "Amen." <laughs> With circles, all you see is a continuous cycle, you know. And I, I don't want to be in that cycle, so I have a focus that's above me, that's upward. So um, I want to connect with those kind of people that has that, that have that same vision, because connections are important. Um, you can sabotage your 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 um, your progression and your success with the people that you connect to. When you connect with people that have the same drive, that have the same ambition, it motivates you to continue to go forward as well. But you going in a cycle, that circle, in that, quit quit that because you're not going anywhere. You know, it's just it's a repetition. You know, so you're not going anywhere. You're not exceeding your own expectations or your own limitations. What are those limitations? The ones that you put on yourself. Exactly. So until you can exceed those, then you'll never reach full potential or success, you know? So, yeah. Okay, you said a whole bunch of inspirational shit. Yes. But we still got one more last bit, so yes. you can go ahead and talk right now, because right now we're going to do the message of the day. Message? But first, we're going to start with Calvin. You have the end right now, so go ahead and say your message of the day. Um, the message of the day is for me is just thanking the most high, you know, because I just had to open my eyes and I was just like, man, things are really great. I just came, I, I was in New Orleans for the funeral for my great-grandmother, R.I.P. to her. Um, she passed away at 92, that's a blessing, you know. People my age don't get to see yeah. those numbers, so yeah. that's really a blessing. Yes, so it is. Never yes, down, yes. always happy for yes. that. But what I'm saying is, I got a, my, all my family live out there, and I just, I mean, when I'm out here, I'm like, damn, I'm like, nah, I should be doing this, or I could have been doing this, and then when I'm out there, I'm just like, they really out there struggling, like, I can, I need to thank you, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, I'm looking up to you from the heart, and this not even for this, like, I'm doing this for you, like, thank you for everything you've done for me, and you just, you just, you just inspired me to get that message every day on IG, that's why I do that on Instagram, I, you know, send those, those tweets out, those, y'all can do it, or, Put those image up, cause I, I want I, I want to see everybody win. Right. I don't care. To be honest, I don't care for the fame. I really just want the money to take care of my family. I don't right. care what happened to me. To be honest with you, like I got a family to feed. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the message of the day, thank, give thanks. You know.
to your parents, to your brother, to your real friends, you know, right. to your teachers, you know, right. the, the real teachers, you know, your right. barber, you know, anybody who helped you out, you know, doing something. Just give him thanks, you know, and especially the most high. He should be first. Man. Always. Y'all feel that? Y'all feel this right. Always. Right. Feel right now. Just and, and this this yeah, authentic yeah. like that the energy is like real. I, I don't think I can see it bouncing off the wall. It's bro. authentic. It's, like it's real. Authentic. Like, you know, I got so much love for Mike yeah. and G, you know, Same like here, man. Yeah. Same here. I look at him as a big brother, I look at G as a little brother, you know. Right. So and from there I know they finna they gonna win. Like it's it's, it's already in the picture, like yeah. we're ready to see it, mm -hmm. you know. But thank you to the most high for everything you've done for me right and on. my friends, my family. Right on. Right on. Definitely. It's a great, great definitely. Right. Um, the message of the day for you. It's your Instagram video right now. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't have one today. Like today was like the energy. That's why was it's so here, good. right here. <laughs> the energy was so good this morning. Like me and the kids, we just rocked out and just just chill, you know. Yeah. But no, seriously. Uh, take control. Take control of your time. Um, of your energy and ultimately of your life, like take control. Um, I feel that uh, uh, with a lot of us that things happen in life, circumstances or whatever, and it can kind of throw us off our game, you know. Um, chaos, you know, chaos happens. Uh, but I feel that when you find the center in chaos, you can bounce back. Yeah, take control, take control of your life, take control of your life. Uh, do not let anyone else get in the driver's seat. Right. Right. You right. stand the yeah. driver's seat. So y'all both said it enough. Like, I mean, shit. So what you but, got so My message of the day is just, I mean, we, we say a lot. You know, we joke around a lot. We play around a lot. You know, we call people ugly. We just make fun of each other. Yeah. It's all love. Mm -hmm. It's always love. Mm -hmm. But my message of the day is just self-acceptance. You know, That's accept good. who you are. That's good. Be who you are. Because whatever you do in life, if you're looking for your truth, your universal truth, you're looking for a purpose, it starts whenever you look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. You know, look into your eyes and, you and really look in deep. They got a lot of going think on. Of, think anything energy. that you look for and you're looking at like inspiring people like celebrities, you're like, wow, I want to be like them, I want to mm -hmm. be like them. Everything that you have in order to succeed is already within you. Yep, definitely. But you just have to accept yourself for you are. Accept your body, accept how you are. Look at yourself naked in the mirror. I see that shit and I love oh, my nigga. body. <laughs> I know, real shit. I be sitting oh, there. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Right, right. I can dance. Damn, I look good. Damn, I look good. Damn, I look good. Exactly, but I'm saying, but you, know, accept we, who you joking, are. But if you know, we're joking, but if you don't real. believe it, if you don't feel it, then you definitely can't expect no one else to. And that's, you know, exactly. And search with yourself. Exactly. You can get to anything. Because I had to, like, honestly, like, I just got, like, a couple, like, y'all noticed, like, a couple, maybe a couple weeks ago, I just got comfortable uh, putting those videos up. Like, mm -hmm. my turn up videos because mm -hmm. I was thinking to myself I was like well I don't want to like, see me like this mm -hmm. you know yeah. but I thought to myself I said let me be true to myself right. if I don't show these people who I am when I get signed mm -hmm. to somebody then they see me they're gonna be like hmm you know, and I definitely want to send a shout out to Rupi Carr for this poem right here uh, just definitely want to say this because it's my wallpaper right now but it's just your art is not about how many people like your work your art is about if your heart likes your work if your soul likes your work it's about how honest you are with yourself you must never trade honesty for relatability. So that just goes that's with real me. Love. That's, that's real love. That's real deep. That's like, real. So just a major shout out to you. You inspired me to continue to write my poems and even drop this book that I'm going to be dropping. Just be on the lookout for everything we got coming. You know, I got yeah, there's a book a lot coming. Of he has, stuff. oh my God, so much stuff. Like, there's a lot coming. of, like, I, I came here. I can't put it out there, but he got, he got a lot of shit. I came here for one here. thing today. Yeah, and it, it, it went overboard. Yeah. And, and I love it. I love it. And he got oh, some man. fire on the way, hey. too. So definitely be on the lookout. Yeah. That part, and with that being said, peace and love and gratitude and respect to you all and your family. Mm -hmm. Like, let's win. Come together. Let's yeah. let's stop winning together. Let's win, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come together. Let's stop hating on each other. Worrying about who got the most followers. Or worrying about who who ahead. You know what? If I'm ahead, let me pick you up right. and put you where I'm at. Or yep. let me or let me drag you along. Let me give you a hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I try to help. I swear to God, I try to help everybody all I can. Yes, sir. Like, Even don't people, lose yourself in helping everybody. And that's. Exactly I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. Exactly I've been there. Because people will, people will use you for your clout. Yep. Always just be aware. Always. Be aware. Conscious minded. Yeah. Conscious minded. Stay focused and stay balanced. Yep. yep. I got Instagram and social media again. Yeah.
Uh, Instagram, Mike Miles World. Um, Facebook, Mike Miles. Websites, anything? Uh, no website right now. Um, you got your business cards on them though. I do have my business cards. <laughs> yeah, and what's the clothing line is again that's coming out? You working on? Concepts. Concept, so be right? looking for that concept. And can you give us like what it like? What are you aiming for? A more business look, fashion look, book, bummy look? No, it's just total. Like, so it's not really a clothing line. It's All more right. of an accessory line. God damn, that was a fire ass interview. Fact, hey, yeah. hey, and we love y'all. We love all y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. So, does this mean that y'all are gonna be consistent now with the videos? Yes. Yes. Okay. And we just want to apologize for the hard weekend. We are sorry for not posting a lot. Yeah. But you guys, we really, we really been busy. Yeah. But we, I promise you, we're gonna pick it up. Yeah. Gonna pick yes. it up. Y'all. Yeah, be on the lookout, concept. Hey, man. This is my mom. So, hey, I love this dude. I swear to God, man. It's my big bro. <laughs> hey, man. It. Thank y'all for Always. looking, man. Appreciate it, man. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, hey. That's, like, that's the handshake, too. Maybe you can't start all that over now. Y'all, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> but no, y'all have a good night, y'all a good evening. When y'all gonna post this, I don't know, but we'll crap all that out. Like, yeah, that's Group hug, nigga. Group hug. Keep, yeah. Small ass nigga. Oh, my arm. Jim, Jim. Take a zero. Hey, man, this is what we do. I love y'all. Hey, always remember, follow me on Instagram. Look y'all cool kid. We definitely had those names posted for you guys, too. Subscribe, like, comment. Boom.